This is a tour of my uh, completely mobile waste oil uh, diesel fuel processing system. Uh, basically everything I need to make diesel fuel out of waste oil is right here with this apparatus attached to the back of my van. There is a uh, normally a, a large white toolbox here that uh, carries hoses and filters and funnels and stuff like that and I'll give you a tour of the inside of that later <clears throat> but this is the, uh, the basic system and uh, what you'll be able to see uh, a large 20 gallon black tank right there that processes that's where I put my waste oil to process into diesel fuel and I basically fill it up about 80 percent with uh, waste oil whether it's waste vegetable oil or waste motor oil and I uh, add to it then 20 gallons of waste gasoline and I let it sit for one to three days and then I drain off the sludge and then filter it and you'll see uh, two Y traps here along the tailgate that uh, are where the oil, the waste oil blend goes first and they have screens inside of them and they're also the way they're built in a Y format is they're designed to trap dense fluids and particles. I find them to be a critical component in my uh, waste oil processing system and then from those Y traps it goes then up to my uh, 20 inch uh, bag filter uh, which uh, has a one micron bag filter in it and then from there it goes right to my fuel tank in a fuel valve and I'll give you a close-up of those uh, features next. So this is a closer view of the 20 gallon waste oil processing tank that I use. You'll notice that it has a bell-shaped bottom. That bell-shaped bottom uh, helps to concentrate the sludge that precipitates out of every batch of waste oil that I process. And then down here I have a, a valve in which I drain off the waste oil or the sludge. So this is my 20 gallon a waste oil processing tank and as you can see I have a T coming off the bottom and a valve below the T. This whole system here is designed, plus the bell shaped bottom, is designed to capture and concentrate the sludge that precipitates out of every batch of waste oil that I turn into diesel fuel. And the valve here, I open the valve handle and drain the sludge off the bottom into containers. And the amount of sludge I drain off can be anywhere from let's say a gallon and a half uh, to perhaps five gallons of uh, sludge. I think five gallons is the largest amount of sludge that I've removed from a batch. And that of course would be uh, six liters to uh, 20 liters of, of sludge that's removed and what I do with the sludge later uh, I've got videos on that but I basically concentrate the sludge into a container and let it settle further and then pour off the thin liquid off the top to continue to recycle my sludge. Eventually my sludge goes to a uh, motor oil recycling place uh, so it's properly disposed of. <coughs> Anyway, coming off from the tea here, the uh, settled waste oil then goes through the, this piping to the Y traps, and I'll show you the Y traps. So from the uh, drain area of the processing tank, I go through a valve that I can open and close depending on whether I'm in a drain mode or a filtering mode. And through this valve, uh, the settled uh, waste oil goes through two Y traps. They are two inch uh, Y traps. Uh, the first one has a 30 micron or a 30 mesh, sorry, screen in it. The second one has a 120 mesh screen in it. And they go from along here through this piping up into the uh, 20 inch bag filter. And I'll show you the bag. So from the Y traps, uh, my waste oil then travels up this pipe and into the uh, bag filter and then the bag filter filters it down to my waste oil down to one micron and then it goes right out to my fuel tank and that's that's it it's pretty simple uh,
put the waste oil into a processing tank, uh, blending tank, add gasoline at about 20%, let it sit for 24 to 2 hours to 3 days, drain off the sludge, let it pass through two wide traps, and then pass it through one, uh, one inch or one micron uh, bag filter and then into your fuel tank. Uh, you know, it's basically three or four components including the tank. The tank I recycled from a scrap yard. I got it for free. The wide traps and the uh, bag filter I had to purchase all together. It's about $250 worth of parts, not including plumbing. And the plumbing components are available at any hardware store.